Hike Vision has discontinued new device registrations on the high DDNS service. Hike Connect Cloud P2P is the new replacement. P2P stands for peer-to-peer, -peer, which is a communication protocol used between devices where either device can initiate the communication path. So P2P does not require port forwarding. You no longer need to mess with IT departments and unknown passwords for routers and so on. So I'm going to show you how to configure a NVR with the Hike Connect service through the web browser. So here I have my batch configuration tool from Hike Vision open and I'm just going to double click on this IP address of the NVR. So it opens up my web browser. I'm using Chrome with IE tab so it automatically opens an IE tab. And I'll log in. You have to go to network Make sure all this is filled out correctly. You need to correct IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and really important are the DNS servers. So right here I'm using my router's default gateway as the DNS server. Um, however, my router is actually using the Google DNS server 8.8.8.8. .8 so that is a good DNS server you can use, 8.8.8.8. .8 then to set up the Hike Connect service, you want to go to Advanced Settings in the web interface, go to Platform Access, and just enable this service. And with the new firmware, it makes you create a verification code. Okay, and I'm going to recommend that you select Custom for the server address, make it dev.us.hike-connect.com then click save save succeeded and we want this registration status to change to online so I'm going to give it a few seconds go to another page and come back and it's refreshed to online so now my device has been registered with the Hike Connect server the next step is to add the device to my account so First, you need to create a, an account. You can do that in the Hike Connect app, or you can go to www.hike-connect.com, then click register, and create your account. Pretty self-explanatory here. You use an email or your phone number to create an account. Okay, the next step, if you haven't already done so, is to install the Hike Connect app on your phone. Just go to the Google Play Store or App Store on your iPhone or Android and search for Hike-Connect, then install that. Here is the Hike Connect app on the home page. So the next step is to add the device to my account. Simply click the plus button at the top right and you can choose to scan the QR code which you can see in the local interface on the NVR or DVR or on the device label on the bottom of the device or you can do manual adding to use the serial number. So I'm going to select manual adding. I'm going to come back to my NVR settings, go to system. I'm going to copy the serial number right here. It's these nine digits in between these letters. Now enter the serial number here. Click save at the top right. It finds the device since it's already registered on the server. Click add. Now put in your verification code. Since I use the serial number, I have to put in the verification code. That's it. This screen means that the device has been added successfully. Now I can click skip. Now I see the device listed here. I can select the cameras I want to view and start live view. So that's it. The device has been successfully added. I'm now viewing the cameras. Now, if you want to share access to this device with another person, but you don't want to share your username and password so they see all your devices, they have to create their own Hike Connect account. Okay, then you go into your app, you go to More, Manage Sharing Settings, click Share Device at the bottom, and you enter in the other person's email address or phone number that they use to create their Hike Connect account. 
Then you hit the plus button on our device and you choose the device that you want to share and click OK. Now you can click this device to choose the permissions and the cameras that you want the person to be able to view. So right here I can choose the cameras I want to share so I don't have to share all of them if I want. And then I can tap the uh, arrow icon here to expand it and I can choose the permissions on each camera. Once you're done here click OK. Once you're satisfied with your settings, you click Save. So that's all there is to it. Now here are some troubleshooting steps. If the device has already been assigned to one account, it cannot be assigned to another. It can only be shared with other Hike Connect accounts. When using the Hike Connect P2P service on the IVMS 4500 app, the app currently doesn't support any sharing. You can't share from there, and you can't accept a share. Only Hike Connect currently supports sharing. So as you saw earlier, if you want to share it with someone, they have to have their own Hike Connect account. Now, if you want to access the DVR or NVR that's registered with Hike Connect through a web browser, then you'll have to do port forwarding. Hike Connect does offer a DDNS service, which you can configure in your account at hike-connect.com. You can set your domain name and the ports, and then you can go to www.hike-connect.com slash your domain it will take you to your device just like a DDNS service and again you have to have port forwarding enabled for that to work. One more time, does Hike Connect require port forwarding? No, it doesn't. You only have to do port forwarding if you want to access the recorder via web browser. Enjoy the new Hike Connect service with easy setup and easy sharing.